Mike. Today I'm going to show you a couch workout. This is a great workout if you're not feeling motivated and you just want to move some or maybe you haven't built the strength up yet to um, use weights and do cardio or you're actually sitting around being a couch potato with your family or friends and you want to start exercising. This is a great routine to get in a little movement while you're sitting on the couch. Start this nice and easy with some arm rotations forward. You can do this while you're sitting and watching something, or you can just do it when you're sitting. And I would say do maybe 100 forward arm rotations. Not big, not small circles, just medium size. Gets the blood pumping. It's gonna help you burn a few calories when you exercise. Now, same thing, big arm circles going backwards. And again, I'd say maybe do a hundred of these. Whatever you can do comfortably, but so that you feel yourself getting a little bit of a workout. And this movement, especially if you're going fast, will kind of pick up your heart rate. It'll get the blood pumping. It'll help you burn some calories. Some lateral arm extensions. And again, I would do 50 to 100 of these. And after this movement, you're gonna do shoulder extensions. 50 to 100 of these. All of this is getting your blood pumping and your heart moving. You can do it while you're sitting watching your favorite show. You can do it if you're not feeling motivated to get up and really sweat. At least you got some movement. And tricep dips, that's gonna work the back part of your arm. This is really good, great to do from the couch. I do 25 to 100 of these. Some lateral squeezes. This is working more of the shoulders and the triceps. Do some overhead extensions. One hundred. I'll do some jabs. One hundred. Also one, one, two, two. This is getting some movement not only of your arms and your cardio, but you're you're twisting and you're using the muscles on your side abs really throw your arms into it and squeeze your fist. Do some airplane arms. 100. So one, one, two, two, three, three. And next, let's work in a little leg movement and some abs. So for this one, just kick your feet. And I do 100 on each leg. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, like that. Just kick, kick, kick. You can go at any speed. You're getting some, some working out of the muscles here. You can feel your calves a little bit with this. And you get a little bit of cardio. some seated marching. Just lift your legs, 100 on each side. Doing this movement is giving you some motion in your hips. You're loosening up your hips a little bit. You're still keeping the blood pumping, your heart going. Um, and you get a little bit of a lower abdominal if you really crunch as you're lifting. Next thing you want to do is your seated squats, I call them. It's just going from a seated position to standing and back to seated. This is giving you a great workout. Um, in your rear. And your now hips. let's get a little calf action going. You just lift your legs and point your toes and flex your toes. Point, flex, point, flex. Do that 100 times. If you feel like you can do more, do more. If you feel like you can do less, do less. Just get some movement in today. Okay, and finally, 
Let's do some seated crunches. This is where you're gonna lean back on your couch and crunch your legs in. This is like doing sit-ups, crunches on the floor. It's not quite as rough on your abs or your back or your neck, but if you really squeeze, you're getting an abdominal workout. And I like to do 50 to 100 of these also. Start with as many as you can though. If you're just starting out, maybe do 10 of each set. And now finally, after all the movement that I've done, I feel like I can really finish this off strong. So I'm going to do some couch push-ups or a plank if that's easier. <clears throat> Just lean to the, to the couch and do your push-ups. I like to do 20. Another option though, if the push-up is a little too much, you could go ahead and lower to the floor and just do a plank and you can do your plank with a full arm extension like this or you could go down to your elbows and really engage your core and i like to hold my plank for about a minute okay and this is the last piece of my couch potato workout i did all of the exercises that we just went through and now i'm feeling awake and lively and like really moving so it's time to get some cardio in. One of my favorite, favorite cardiovascular exercises in the house to do is my indoor cycle. I can sit here and watch TV if the family's on the couch. I put it right behind the couch so I can see very well. Um, if nobody's in here with me, I'm usually on my phone replying to emails and messages, handling correspondence, making my notes and calendar for the week. Uh, it's a great way to get some exercise and movement while multitasking.